you need any coins for Team Season, make sure you check out igbowl.com and use the discount code JMXFIFA. Yo, what's up guys, it's Joe here and welcome to another FIFA 17 confirmed and potential transfers rumours video. So the last one I did went down sick, you guys really 80% like sure he's going to stay at Leicester. But there was so much like commotion and like people, so I thought... I better do this again, and there's been loads of new rumours in that time and stuff like that. Some pretty um, interesting and shocking and crazy, mad ting stuff, basically. <laughs> but yeah, quickly, um, you're probably thinking, why the what? Why is there a lion in your room, Joel? Now that's a um, <laughs> it's a long story. But yeah, his name is Lance, and he's now our pet lion. Um, I adopted him. The picture of me riding him on Instagram. Me ride that, me riding him, that, that actually sounds, it's not what you think, it's not what you think. <laughs> but yeah, talking of Instagram, there's literally only two days left to enter my giveaway for Euro 2016 shirt of your choice, all you need to do is like this picture and follow me, a lot of you have done that, but if you haven't, make sure you quickly go enter because I'm going to be announcing the winner on Tuesday, so you know, may as well get yourself a Euro shirt of your choice. Anyway, I think that's enough chatting, share about not really very much, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe, leave a like if you enjoy these kind of videos, and let's get into it. So we're going to be coming in with a confirmed one to start with and that is Victor Wanyama. He's been confirmed to be transferring from Southampton to Tottenham for I think it is 11 mil on a five year deal which I think is very good business for Tottenham. He's a great midfielder, he's, he's fucking stacked, he's huge, he's been hitting the gym and I think he's really, he's been, I think it was not last season but the season before that he was sick for Southampton. I think he's been good as well this year as well. And I think he's, I think he's a very good sign if Tottenham obviously relinking back up with Pochettino because he used to manage Southampton. And yeah, five year deal for Wanyama. That is definitely a sick signing for Spurs fans. It's not really going to affect BPL teams or anything like that just because it's a BPL club. So a bit not a BPL club, so it's not really going to affect FIFA that much. But it's, it's a very interesting and I think some very good business from Spurs. So yeah, we well done. Next up we have Pjanic. He's had an absolutely sick season for Roma. He has been running the flipping show. As you know, he got that sick team of season card, which was very, very good. And he just played so well all season. And he has been confirmed to have transferred to Juventus. Again, another like same league moves. There's not massively effects. FIFA 17 and stuff like that teams, but it's a huge transfer. He was one of the best midfielders in the Serie A last season, and it's obviously a very good buy for Juventus because like Pogba and Pjanic now in their team, they're just they're just going to be killing it. That's absolutely sick, and it's apparently for 38 million euros, which is one sec. 30 mil for talking pounds, which probably most of us are more familiar with. But yeah, Pjanic to Juventus is going to be that 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 team is going to be sick next year. Pogba. And Pjanic is the two midfielders. As long as Pogba does stay at Juventus, that is, but we don't know. We don't know about that yet. No one's sure about that yet. But yeah, very, very good sign. Okay, on to David De Gea. My bay, literally David De Gea. I freaking love David De Gea. Two Real Madrid, probably one you guys were expecting, but no, no. David De Gea has said he is happy with Manchester United. This one is not gonna happen. Um, because he wants, he's, he's excited about what Jose Mourinho is going to do for the club and Real Madrid are backed off. It's not going to happen. Let's throw a party. Let's just throw a flipping party. I, actually, I can't believe this. This is, this is great. This is literally like the best news since I found out I hadn't failed on my GCSEs. Quickly guys, before we get onto some more of these transfers, I want to show you an app that me and my friends have been playing a little bit too much recently. It's called Pele Soccer Legend. Now you've probably heard of it, but if you haven't, you're, you're gonna like it. Basically what it is, it's a football app where you start as Pele and you work your way up. It's actually pretty just flipping sick. As you see guys, this is the map screen. There's 150 levels, you work your way up through the favelas and different seas and stuff like that. It's flipping sick. So as you see, we're going onto a level here. I've uninstalled the app and reinstalled it so I can show you what it's like from the start. And what you have to do is obviously score five goals past the keeper to get through this level. So yeah. Bang, that's one. Release the Kraken! Bang, that's two. Surely not. The fifth one, the other kick, is a goal lasso. As you see, there you go. And we get a bonus shot. Why, why don't we just bang this in? You head, son. There we go. Bonus shot, easy. Into the goal. And that's that level complete. Obviously, it's only level two, so it gets a lot harder. This is the city map. You start off with the back lot. Favela, Rio, London, Rome. It gets pretty mad. There's also actually a locker room where you can pimp Pele out, make sure he's looking, you know, looking swag, looking good. <laughs> For any ladies, he might, I don't even know if there's ladies in the game. There might be though. So yeah, you can like 
change how he looks and everything like that, which is pretty sick. You know what I need? I need some new boots, like for sure. Che oh, check out these fireball shoes. I am getting those damn right. There we go. You can change his hair. Oh my god, one day I'm gonna get that afro. There's also online multiplayer on the app, so you can play 1v1s against other people to win rewards and stuff like that and win even more coins. So you know, you can pimp your guy out, get the best boots going and that kind of stuff. There's also power-ups you can use during the game, so there's fireball, freeze for defenders, retry, all just things that add to the game and make it pretty cool. Let me know what level you can get up to, see if you can get higher than me. But yeah, I'm really in the football fever with the Euros and everything going on, so this app is just perfect for right now. So download it, link the description down below, and let me know how you get on. All right, guys, you need to take a deep breath for this. This is big. So French Giants, PSG, are losing their star man, Ibrahimovic, as he's not gonna renew his contract, which is ending. And and he's potentially coming to Manchester United, woo! But, obviously, they've got a flipping ton of money, and they're gonna need to replace it. Makes sense, doesn't it? They're gonna have to, you can't let Zantan Ibrahimovic leave and not replace him. They're gonna have to replace him, and with someone flipping huge, and I'm not talking just huge, because like, 6 or 5 is that and huge, I'm talking a big player. Now, originally the plan for PSG was Ronaldo, but Real Madrid actually got a transfer ban, so that's gone completely out the window for PSG. It's just not an option, so they've had to reassess, and they've got a new target now, and that is Neymar Flipping Jr. Holy shit! I know this is absolutely ludicrous and just ridiculous and shocking and like, oh my god. But basically, there are quite a few reports saying that PSG are targeting Neymar. Now that would be the most insane transfer, like, it, it'd be cute since Ronaldo went to Real Madrid. Literally, that would be flipping huge. Now, it's very, very unlikely, but Neymar is having off-the-pitch trouble with the tax man. He's in a bit of trouble for, you know, I think trying to avoid tax or whatever. So apparently PSG might be coming in with a lot of money to help him sort that out. Obviously that's just the rumour, what the papers are saying, is it gonna happen? I don't think so, but obviously if it did, it would be, it would, it would be, it would be, it would be insane. Like, I, I wouldn't even know what to do. Moving on to another Barcelona Brazilian, that is Danny Alves, and apparently he is literally on the brink of signing a freer deal with Juventus, who have already signed Pjanic, and now they're looking to strengthen their team even further by securing the services of Danny Alves. Um, apparently it's literally certain to happen according to the Daily Mail and some other reports and stuff like that So that would be a pretty big transfer if he it sucks a little bit to lose Danny Alves from the league of UVA teams Because obviously you've got a bar tip for Juventus teams. You don't need any other right back But he might actually be decent. He might be better than a bar tip in the next FIFA because you know my pace might not be completely everything so that'd be an interesting transfer Danny Alves to Juventus is not too like Groundbreaking, I ain't gonna talk to my mum about it, but it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be interesting. Next up, we have Kante, one of the heroes for Leicester as they won the league this season. And obviously, there is there's so much speculation around all Leicester's big players, and Kante is no exception. So, Kante got that team of season card this year, and he is rumored to be either going to Manchester United. Um, you know, hang on a minute, I actually can't, I can't look at that 77. That, I, is not fair. Him, him in a 77 card is not fair. We'll just make that a team of season Man United card. Just because. So he's either going to be a Man He's going to either be moving to Man United or Liverpool. Um, are the rumours. Obviously, it's not either one of them. He's, the chances are he, he'll probably stay at Leicester. But I would definitely take Kante. Let me know if you're a Liverpool or Man United fan. Whether you, How bad you want Kante. You probably want him pretty bad because he's proven he was just sick in the Prem this year. Absolutely sick. And we could do with a midfielder like that, to be completely honest. <laughs> it is quite an unlikely one, and there's not too much on it, but it is a rumour, and it would be pretty freaking sick, as long as he came to Man United. If he came to Liverpool, then I'm not sure how, how I'd feel about that. I'd much rather, obviously, he came to Manchester United, but it's, it's, he's probably just going to stay at Leicester for at least one season. I don't know why you wouldn't. Like, Vardy, Mares, and Kante, they're in the Champions League now. Why would they not want to just stay at Leicester? And see how they can do in the Champions League. They've got, they can move on. Like, fair enough, they move next year if they don't get Champions League again and stuff. But come on, they've just won the league. Why wouldn't they want to play in the Champions League now for Leicester? That's just, it's sick. So you guys saw early on in the video, Danny Alves has basically already moved to Juventus on a three-year deal. Now that means Barcelona have now lost a, their right back, which means they're going to need to replace them, which is where Hector Bellerin comes in. Arsenal fans have probably figured out where this is going already and you're probably in tears because Barcelona have approached Bellerin and they've said they want him as the replacement for 
Danny Alves. Bellerin, who's only 21 and had a flipping sick season this year. He actually came to Arsenal from the Barcelona Academy in 2013. So a return seems like it doesn't like it doesn't seem like something that's never gonna happen. Like it's, it, it makes sense, doesn't it? He's Spanish, he came from the Academy, he's made it at Arsenal now, and coming back to play for the first eleven, the first team for Barcelona, like you gotta think about that. It's it's gonna be hard for him to say no, but he does insist he's happy in North London playing for Arsenal at the moment. So that's kind of good news for Arsenal fans. Let me know if you think it would happen. Let me know how much you'd cry if he did leave, because I know Arsenal fans would be pretty upset. It would it would it would be sad to see because he has got so much potential. But it, it's one that I could definitely see happening. Maybe not this year, but certainly in the next couple of years if he continues to push on like this. Like, it's hard to say no to Barcelona. Next up, we have Lacazette, the machete. He got a team of the season this year as well. He got a sick team season the year before. He's been banging in the goals for two years straight now. And I think it's only, like this could be the summer where he makes a big move. Now, the main club in the running are West Ham, which is going to be huge. Imagine Hyatt assisting Lacazette. That connection, the chemistry, it'll all be there. But will Pyatt be there? We're gonna have to come on to that in a little, in, in, a, in a second. But will Lacazette be there? We don't know because also Arsenal are in the running to sign him along with Real, uh, not Real Madrid, what am I talking about? Along with Atletico Madrid. So Atletico Madrid, Arsenal and West Ham all want Lacazette. I imagine there's probably more clubs that want him. In fact, most clubs will probably take him. I'll take him. I'll take it for the, my Sunday league team if that's possible. Yeah, they're the three clubs that are said to be in the running for Lacazette. Apparently his price is 45 million. And like considering the, there's not that many absolutely sick strikers in the world, I, I, I would pay that. If I was Manchester United, I would pay that. But yeah, let me know who you think Lacazette would rather go to. Arsenal, West Ham or Atletico Madrid. Let me know who you go to if you were at Lacazette. And let me know who you think he's actually going to go to. Like, I'd like to see you guys' predictions in the comments down below. And then finally, to end off this video, we have a huge transfer. Like, just I don't even know if you're ready for this. Dimitri Flippin Payet is, is among the rumors. Of course he is. Premier League player of the season last season. I think he was. If he wasn't, he should have been. Absolute bargain for West Ham. He was banging in free kicks, goals, assists everything and he's even shown that he can do it on the international stage score two goals in the group stage for France being their best player I even had to do a Euro 2016 challenges video on him if you haven't seen that check it out but yeah he's been insane what a, what a year Pi has had and that's obviously gonna uh, cause rumors West Ham fans will be like will be scared like I'd be scared if I was West Ham as well like, like imagine losing Pi like that would be bad but He's rumoured to potentially be going to Real Madrid. Zidane has heaped praise on him. All the papers are talking about it. <sighs> yeah, but I don't know. I really don't know if this could happen. Also, Chelsea want him. I mean, to be fair, everyone has got to want him. But apparently, Chelsea are really like looking to try and get him. But I think if he was going to go somewhere, it'd be like somewhere like Real Madrid. Zidane has been praising him. He would, I think he'd work very well for Real Madrid. There's also rumours of James Rodriguez leaving Real Madrid, so that's, you know, sort of a, the same sort of player going out, same sort of player coming in if James went and Payet came in. So it's all kind of adding up a little bit. I really, I don't think it, I don't know, I'm kind of 50-50. Let me know if you think this could happen. And a more important question, actually, something that I'm more interested in. Let me know how much you think Payet is worth. Remember, he is 29, but he is a fantastic player. So, I, d I don't know, is he, w is he worth 40, 50 million? That's a lot for a 29 year old, but, I mean, <laughs> I mean, he, he, he does the talking on the pitch. He's, he's been absolutely insane. So let me know how much you think Pyatt is worth, how much you'd spend on Pyatt for your team. And yet, let me know if you think there's a chance he could be moving to Real Madrid, because it'd be huge, absolutely huge. If he did. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like, subscribe. If you are new around here, let me know. You know, I've asked loads of questions in this video. Let me know in the comments down below. I do like to read all the comments and I'll reply to as many as I can. But yeah, I think basically, thanks for watching. Have a sick day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.